what are the muscles of mastication there are four muscles of mastication namely masseter is one of the powerful muscles it is quadrangular in shape it has two parts deep and superficial the origin of the superficial head is from the maxillary process of the zygomatic bone and deep part originates from the zygomatic arch of the temporal bone insertion is in the ramus of mandible the nerve supply is by mandibular nerve which is branch of trigeminal nerve and blood supply is by mesenteric artery which is a branch of maxillary artery in turn a branch of external carotid artery the action is to elevate the mandible and protrusion of the mandible which is often done by the superficial head the next muscle of mastication is temporalis it is fan shaped muscle as you could see here and it is covered by a tough fascia as you could see here the origin is from the temporal fossa of the skull and insertion is into the coronoid process of the mandible the nerve supply is from mandibular nerve which is a branch of trigeminal nerve and blood supply is from both deep temporal artery both the anterior and posterior branches and middle temporal artery the first one is a branch of maxillary artery which is in turn a branch of external carotid artery and middle temporal artery is a branch of superficial temporal artery which is also a branch of external carotid artery and the action is elevation of mandible and retraction of mandible now we'll see about two muscles which lie when we cut open this part of mandible the medial pterygoid muscle is quadrangular in shape and has two heads deep head and superficial head it lies inferior to lateral pterygoid muscle and the origin is from the pyramidal process of the palatine bone which is this part and the medial surface of the lateral pterygoid plate and medial surface of the lateral pterygoid plate gives origin to the medial pterygoid muscle and also the maxillary tuberosity along with the pyramidal process of the palatine bone insertion is into the ramus of the mandible near the angle of the mandible nerve supply is from the mandibular nerve which is third branch of the trigeminal nerve and blood supply is from the pterygoid branch of maxillary artery and muscular branch of facial artery both are branches of external carotid artery and action is elevation of the mandible that is closing the mouth lateral pterygoid muscle is triangular in shape as you could see here it has two heads superior head and inferior head the superior head originates from the greater wing of sphenoid and the inferior head originates from the lateral pterygoid plate that is lateral surface of the lateral pterygoid plate both gets inserted into the neck of the condyle as you could see here they converge to form a tendon and then they get inserted nerve supply is the mandibular nerve and blood supply is from the pterygoid branch of the maxillary artery and action is if it is a bilateral action that is when both the muscles work together it could cause protraction of the mandible and depression of the mandible opening of the mouth this is the only muscle among the muscles of mastication which causes depression of the mandible that is opening of the mouth unilateral action that is when either the right or the left lateral pterygoid muscle alone works then it causes side to side movement of the jaw